All right, we're going to be looking at page 99, and again it says commas in a series. So when we are making a list of objects, we separate them by a comma. So let's follow the directions while you write your name at the top. Here we go. Read each list of words. Write a sentence that uses the words in a list. Use commas and the word and where they belong. Well, let's try this on our own together. Are you guys ready to read the words with me? Let's sound them out. S, it, sit, run, run, b, egg, beg. So the words we're going to use in the sentence are sit, run, and beg. I'm wondering if this has to do with a dog. Let's find out. My dog can, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the words and they're all gonna fit on the line because we're gonna write proper size and shape. So we write down one word and then a comma and the comma is right attached next to it but not touching it. My dog can sit, finger space, run, comma. Now remember before we write the last word, a finger space, we're gonna write the word and before we write the last word. My dog can sit, run, and what's the last word? Beg. And then what does every sentence have to end with? Okay, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna practice reading the whole sentence, reading the punctuation. My dog can sit, run, and beg. Does it sound right to you? Okay, we're going to do one more together, and then we're going to say the words out loud. We're going to practice the sentence, but you're going to do the writing on your own. Let's practice this one. Remember, whenever you see ing, it says ing. Okay, ready? Go. S, ing, sing. Remember, when you have two vowels together, usually the first one says its long name. Let's try it. R, eed, read. Sing, read. Let's try this one. Remember, aw usually says aw. Draw, aw, draw, sing, read, draw. That sounds like things I like to do. Let's check and see if that's what it says. I like to blank. I like to sing, read, and draw. Let's write those down using the punctuation. I like to sing, what comes after it? Comma, finger space, read, comma, finger space, and finger space, draw, period. Notice the comma comes before the word and. Listen to us read it and we're gonna find out why that is. I like to sing, read, and draw. Did you hear where I paused? So. The comma will always come before the word and when you're making a list. Are you guys ready to continue? Now, you're gonna do the last writing of the sentences on your own, but I'm gonna practice with you to make sure you can be 100% successful. So let's sound these out. H, A, P, hop. Swa, M, swim. Hop, swim. These sounds like things an animal does, don't it? Don't it? Okay, E-A together, usually the E will say its name. Let's try it. Eat, eat. Hop, swim, eat. I'm trying to think what animals hop. Maybe a kangaroo? Oh, or a frog. Let's find out. A frog can hop, swim, and eat. Listen to it with proper punctuation one time through a little bit faster. A frog can hop, swim, and eat. Hit pause and write the words in with proper commas, the word and, and a period at the end. When you're done with that, push the play button and let's continue. Welcome back. Let's try this one. R, uh, n, run, run. Let's try this one. Pl, a, y always says a, so let's try it. Pl, a, play. Run, play. This sounds like a baby, huh? Or a toddler. N, app, nap. Run, 
play nap. I'm going to predict it's going to be about a baby or a toddler. A cat can, oh, I was wrong. It's about a cat. Let's go back. A cat can run, play, and nap. Let's try it again at speed. Listen for the punctuation. A cat can run, play, and nap. Make sure you write the words correctly on the lines. Use proper punctuation. In this case, you're going to have commas and a period. And make sure you write the word and where it goes. When you are all done, I'd like you to go back to the top and you're going to read each sentence out loud like this. My dog can sit, run, and beg. I like to sing, read, and draw. So that you're reading with fluency and reading the punctuation because that's one of the skills we've been working on in our reading and now we're working on it in our writing also. We're going to practice some of the grammar that makes how we're reading make sense with how we're going to be writing. I'll see you guys later.